Hey YouTube, my name is Teal Apostate and I have a pretty big manga haul to do today. I think there's probably around like 50-ish volumes here. That's a lot. Uh, if you wanted to visualise it, this is what the packages look like. So this is a lot of manga. And fun fact, this is actually all from the same series. Because I made a big decision to finally get into this manga. So I'm going to start unboxing all of these. And despite the large number of volumes, I imagine this won't be a very long video. So stay tuned. So I think I'm going to start with the biggest box here and my knife while I try not to stab any of these books. So yeah, time for the reveal. The manga that I decided to haul pretty much all off is kind of obviously um, the My Hero Academia manga plus the spin-offs plus the light novel, which if you weren't aware at this point, it's a lot of manga. Yeah, it's not like One Piece level, I get it. There's like close to 30 volumes, I think, of the like standard original manga, but then there's several volumes of a spin-off of like an extra like kind of more comedic series, and then the light novels, or novels, I'm not really sure at this point. So here's the point where I do, I guess, kind of like a flash forward of every single book that I have in this haul. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So yeah, here is every single volume that I've managed to get in this haul. So that is volume one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and volume twenty-six of My Hero Academia by Kohei Horikoshi. Ugh, my arm hurts. <laughs> But that's just like the main manga because I did also pick up all the vigilantes which again that's volume one two three four five six seven and volume eight and these are by Hideyuki Furuhashi and Betancourt but that's not all I also picked up Smash which I think is like a funny sort of like side comic so that's volume one two three four and five but like I don't know where it is <laughs> I'm sure I've bought it I remember buying it but I have no idea why it's not with the rest and those are by Horikoshi and Hirofumi Neda. But wait, there is still more. Because uh, I also picked up all of the physical volumes of the School Briefs novelization. So that's volume one, two, three, and volume four. And those are by Horikoshi and Anri Yoshi. And then you would think that would be it. But then I also picked up the second of the Ultra Analysis booklets. This one is in Japanese and I'm still trying to get my hands on the first volume because they're just, I don't think they've been put into English and they're just not sold over here, so. But like, they've just got such cool stuff in them. It feels kind of like Deku's Notebook and I just want these. So I hope that they bring these out in English at some point. Uh, but for now, I'm going to track down the Japanese versions because I don't know, that's all I can get. Okay, so um, here's the damage. So I think this adds to like about 44 volumes of manga. Though I have got several more volumes all pre-ordered, they're just not out in print yet. I think that's for like all of these series. So I think if you factor those in, it might just be about 50 volumes, including the pre-orders. Um, which is a lot of manga. I don't know, when I first watched um, the anime, I wasn't that into it, like, I thought it was good enough that I would continue watching it, but like, I was never hype about it. I don't know what it was about, like, my second watch through that made me, like, so into it. I don't know. Could just be Mr. Aizawa. But like, to be honest, I wasn't sure whether I was gonna buy all of the manga. Ideally, what I want to do is I want to just watch the anime and then once the anime has finished in however many years that is then I can go back and read the manga. I do it different ways for different series like some series I will read the manga first and then not touch the anime until I finished it and it just depends on the series and for this one I wanted to just watch the anime but you know people on the internet will not stop spoiling it for me. I think I know like literally every spoiler. People come into my inbox and send me the spoilers. This isn't like, it's I, I physically can't avoid them. Yeah, if you're one of those people, I do hate you and I will have beef with you for the rest of time. So like, while I know I definitely do want to read the manga at some point, it might not be now. I haven't really decided. Part of me is thinking like for self-preservation, maybe I should just read all of the manga and then like watch the anime on catch up even though I'll already know what happens and I like to do it that way a lot less than the other way around. So yeah, this is the result of me not knowing whether I'm going to need to binge absolutely everything in a very short amount of time to catch up, or like catch up as far as I can in terms of like where the physical volumes are at in English. But yeah, this was a pretty big haul. Um, I really like how the volumes look, they're pretty colourful. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of like a lot of the covers. Some of them I think are fantastic and some of them I'm like, was this the best image we had? <laughs> um, but I really think 
I'm going to struggle putting all of this on my shelf because it's it's a big series. I think this is the most volumes of any one series I have. This is like the biggest series that I own to date now. So we'll see how I get on with that. With that said, I don't want this video to go on too long. I don't think it needs to. This was probably a very quick haul. So yeah, what can I say? I binge buy. Uh, hopefully you guys liked this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye!